Procter and Gamble called Mickey Dwyer Dobbin was uh, was then exec executive in charge of production at Procter and Gamble Productions, and she called me uh, into her office and asked if I'd be interested in line producing at Guiding Light, and so I. I, I told her that I'd never done it, so I, you know, I said I, I don't know. I, I, I guess I would, but it's not really. I mean, see, it's easy to tell what directors do, and it's easy to tell what cameramen do, and it's easy to tell what makeup artists do. It's a little more nebulous what a producer does because that job is different in every single location. Uh, it, it's different on a film than it is on a TV show, and, and it's different from one TV show to the next. And so. I didn't, I didn't know for sure what that would mean, but I said, I'd sure, I'd try it. I mean, you know, I've done just about everything else now. <laughs> I said, might as well try that. Uh, so, so I came over to Guiding Light for six months and uh, was a line producer. What do you think that uh, Mickey saw in you? I don't, I'm telling you, I don't know what she saw. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still amazed by it every day. But I still, I'm, I'm here now still saying, I still don't know why I have this job. How lucky am I? Um, I, I don't know. I, my, my bet, it, if I could g get him to admit it, is that Chris still had something to do with it. Is that he's, because I can't imagine, I can't imagine anything else. I would have to, I would have to, you'd have to ask Mickey. But, you know, there's, I wasn't around her that much as a director. You're not necessarily around, so I don't know. So as a line producer, what did you do those first the first few weeks when you first got on, what did you find out? What, what did you find out that the job was? <laughs> when I first got here, it it really. So this was my very first day. I walked in, and Paul Roush, who was executive producing then, um, wasn't there. He he wasn't in the building, um, and I. He 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 was there when I very first walked in, and he said, "You're going to be in the booth today." And I said, I am? He said, yeah, you're in the booth today, which means you're the person watching over the director, watching over the production, making sure everything goes right and you give notes. And But I hadn't met anyone yet. I didn't know anyone. Um, and then he left. And then I had to ask somebody where the studio was. <laughs> and I asked where the studio was, and I found it, and I went upstairs. and. I started giving notes. I mean, I'd, I'd been the director. I'd gotten notes from people, you know, so I, I knew what they did when they sat back there. So I just did what I'd seen other people doing when they sat back there. <laughs> um, and that, that was my very first, my first day I was in the booth by myself. Did you know enough about the show to feel confident in at least giving the notes that you gave? I had had a couple, I'd had a couple weeks to, to watch it and read. So so absolutely, but I, w I and people are you know, soap operas go through lots of people. People come and go, so they're very used to. Um, everyone's very very good about understanding that there is this chain of command, and people may have been there longer than longer than you, but they're willing to answer your questions at the same time as they, you know, do what y you tell them because you may have uh, y you may get to make that that one decision over the top of them, uh, and so. People were very good about filling me in. Well, why is she married to him if she was married to him? Yes, people were really good about that. 